Hey beautiful souls, Calista here with Midweek Vibes, our Ascension update. Sitting right in front of this waterfall and underneath me I can feel the water moving down to the river below. And it's the perfect place to be situ situated energetically and elementally for this message which is all about letting go and surrendering when you come up against within you or within your world resistance resistance to socially interact when you just want to stay on the sofa all day and be in your PJs, resistant to making the connections you need to make, creating the change that you need to change in your world, standing up for what you believe in, sharing your truth. Basically what we're asked to do if you're on your ascension path is for the intrepid. And some days are not all sunshine and rainbows. Some days are like it was here earlier. Rain, stormy, dark clouds. Now the sun's came out. And nature, she's always here for us to come out and gain a neutral perspective. Whatever is going on in our life, whatever we're experiencing within, when we come up against this resistance, she gently nudges us to come outside Take a breather. Breathe into whatever is in resistance, whatever emotion is heightened. Feel it, understand it, listen to it, and then let it go. Now today we're under the influence, if you believe it, some people don't believe that we're influenced by astrology. But if you do, Whatever your belief is, of course, you perpetuate in your reality. So I definitely believe in eclipses and the energy of eclipses on our behavior, on our mentality, on our energy. And today we are experiencing a full lunar eclipse it's as well as a full moon, as well as a super moon as well. And it's under the energy of Sagittarius. So if you have Sagittarius in your astrology chart, I have a lot of it. <laughs> You'll probably be feeling a lot of intensity and or resistance today and honestly friends I didn't want to create this video I just wanted to stay on my sofa until I had to um, get up and prepare for a party because it's my son's fifth birthday today I just didn't want to to interact with the world and I really want to talk about this subject because I normalize it so I think there's this sense that when you're a, a, somebody who holds space, a teacher, author, whatever, that you don't get days like this, and you absolutely do. And it's, these days are to be welcomed. I call them inception points, where what we have known up until that point is questioned. And the ground, the literal ground that they, we've been walking on, <laughs> begins to fall away because that reality is breaking down. We don't need it anymore. We're coming into a new realm of being. And the eclipse is definitely inciting that. Three weeks before an eclipse, the eclipse itself, and three weeks after, that window is always a heightened time of intensity. And it brings up change. And it also shows us where we're holding resistance. So if you're feeling really um, challenged today, Instead of just sitting in your PJs on the sofa or feeling sorry for yourself or thinking that you should be feeling something else, you know, condemning yourself, just breathe. If you can, come into nature to gain the neutral perspective. Let go of what you feel you should be feeling or should be doing let go of everything that's happening on the world stage right now where we're definitely seeing you just have to walk down the street and you can feel the almost separation of the two worlds can't you <laughs> and sometimes that influences us as well and <clears throat> so just let it all go come into nature feel put your hand on your heart feel what's coming up listen to its medicine because resistance we should advance through resistance rather than retreating it rather than retreating from it closing the curtain sitting on a sofa 
not interacting with the world, we should open the curtains, open and lean into and welcome the resistance, welcome the change, show up to it, and know that that inception point is bringing so, through so much growth and learning. And that's really what we're here to do, friends, is to grow and learn, change and evolve. And there's many on their ascension path who may, um, the, they might have a lip service. They might say that they're, they're on their awakened path, but they're resistant to changing and learning and growing and uh, the new earth that's being created is asking us to show up, is asking us to move through and to allow for the change. Uh, so here's to that, sending so much love.